I tested the different resolutions the G86 has to offer to see if there's any difference in image quality, sharpness and the usefulness of the different aspect ratios. I came to some interesting conclusions. Let's talk about it. The resolutions we can pick from on the G86 from 4K and up are 4K UHD, Cinema 4K, 5.7K and 5.8K. Since 5.7K and 5.8K are only available in 10-bit 420, I shot everything in 10-bit 420 long GOP. UHD and C4K are available in 422 all intra, but that shouldn't affect the sharpness, so I left those options out of this test. I've presumed end use will be in a 16x9 aspect ratio, so I've cropped the 5.8K open gate which has a 4x3 aspect ratio, to 16x9. I shot these clips in the exact same setup, the same lights, the same lens, the same position, and my camera settings are on screen. I've put the clips on a 4K timeline in DaVinci Resolve. Let's disregard the different aspect ratios for now. We'll talk about that later. And look at the image quality and sharpness. Looking at the images at first glance, there doesn't seem to be any difference at least not to my eyes. So I zoomed in on the images a lot. Between 4K UHD and C4K, there's absolutely no difference, as expected because it's mostly an aspect ratio difference. More about that later. Cropping into the 5.7K clip, you can see a very slight difference in sharpness compared to 4K UHD. You can sort of see it on these letters on this lens. They seem slightly sharper in 5.7K. But again, this is zoomed in really, really far. Absolutely pixel peeping now. Between 5.7K and 5.8K, there's no difference. But as I said earlier, there's a difference in aspect ratios between the different resolutions. Let's go back to the non-cropped clips and see what happens. First, C4K and 5.7K, since they are both in the 17 by 9 aspect ratio. This is C4K and this is 5.7K. They seem almost identical, but as you can see, there is a very slight crop in 5.7K. Then 4K UHD and C4K, and this is where it gets interesting. UHD is the regular 16 by 9 aspect ratio and is 3840 pixels wide by 2160 pixels high. C4K has the same height as UHD, 2160 pixels, but is slightly wider with 1496 pixels. You'd think that you would get the same field of view in height as with UHD, but slightly wider because on some cameras, you do actually get that in C4K. But on the G86, this isn't the case at all. As you can see, the field of view top to bottom gets cropped, while the field of view left to right stays exactly the same as in UHD. Effectively losing available image area. So in conclusion, what are the benefits of using these resolutions and aspect ratios. Well, 5.8K open gate is definitely useful if you want to crop out different aspect ratios for delivery, like 16x9 and 9x16, for example, without losing resolution. The 5.7K is a useful option when you want to be able to crop in post and it gives you a slightly sharper image on the 4K timeline but has a 17 by 9 aspect ratio. So a little cropping is needed if you want your final result to be in 16 by 9. Cinema 4K then, although it has a slightly higher resolution with 4096 pixels wide, it doesn't give you any wider field of view and even decreases the field of view in height. That means if you thought about using C4K to have a little bit of room to do digital pans in post for a 16 by 9 video, you'll be disappointed. Because when you do that, you'll end up with an image that has an even smaller field of view than you get in 4K UHD. Now I know C4K is the standard resolution and aspect ratio for cinema, but how many of us shoot for cinema production? And 
If you want that 17 by 9 aspect ratio, you might as well put some black bars on your 4K UHD footage because it will look exactly the same as C4K in terms of field of view. The only compromise will be a loss of width of 256 pixels, which is hardly noticeable. Basically, I've come to the conclusion that unless you're delivering for cinema, C4K is completely useless. I would stick with 4K UHD or maybe 5.7K if you want to crop in post. Let me know what you think. Am I maybe missing something here? By the way, I've got a video coming up about my G86 handheld rig and I'm working on a somewhat longer project that I'll tell you about when I know it'll work. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and maybe hit that notification bell. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.